Hey everyone, this is Kirtan Singh here, and this is my Avengers Endgame trailer review. Now, uh, I like this trailer, it's a pretty good trailer. Upon my second viewing of the trailer, I liked it even more than the first. But, I have a few problems with it, to be honest. It feels very... like a typical Marvel trailer, where you have... something that sets up the story, then you have an action-packed part, then you tone it down a little, and then you have the title up here, and then you have a comedic scene at the end. And it, you just notice that with almost every Marvel trailer that comes out in the past few years. But I like some of it. I liked the scene of Iron Man saying goodbye to Pepper Potts. Although I feel like Captain Marvel is probably going to come across him on her way back or something from wherever she is at the end of Captain Marvel. Um, or I, Nebula is going to for some reason pop out again or something. I don't know. I don't know why Nebula is not with him. She also looks like she's on the Guardians' um, ship, because that's where Iron Man is. He's on the Guardian of the Galaxy ship. Either they're both in their ship, or they're not both on the ship. It's a little confusing, but nonetheless, I like that scene. And then we have um, the reveal of Hawkeye, who's now, I'm pretty sure his name is Ronan. Um, and not to be uh, mistaken with Ronan the Accuser, who you'll see in Captain Marvel. Um, the movie coming up, as well as the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. But now he's like uh, an evolved kind of Hawkeye. He's... I like him. I like Hawkeye. I don't think he's that bad a character. Um, I really wanted to read that one of the comic series that came out in like 2012, 2013-ish. It looks pretty cool. Um, but none. I'm getting distracted. My point is, this trailer has a few good scenes. Those are two things I really like. I... I love, I love Chris Evans as Captain America. Winter Soldier is my favorite Marvel movie. But Captain America without the beard just looks terrible. I'm gonna be honest. I get why he has that symbolism. He's now an Avenger again. He's not going to be that rogue um, soldier who's going against the government, yada yada. He's an Avenger again. And he loses the beard symbolism of that. I get that. Get it. But damn, did Chris Evans look good in the beard. Holy crap. Now just seeing him without a beard just looks... It looks disappointing. But I get why it happened. I get it. We see shots of different Avengers here and there. We see Thanos, the gauntlet is still stuck to his arm. But he's taking the rest of his armor off. And he's on his farm doing his thing. And then we end this um, trailer, like I said, with the comedic scene after the title. Which I still don't... I really don't like that title. Should have just called it Avengers. Anyway, we end the trailer with a comedic scene with Scott Lang. He's coming to the front of the door, and we saw earlier in the trailer that Scott Lang, Shuri, Spider-Man, um, the Hulk, and all of them don't know where they are. Because you saw Mark Ruffalo, Bruce Banner, looking at their faces and that. So they're missing. We know that Scott Lang was in that microverse thingy at the end of the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie. But then now we see that he's out. Obviously, we knew he was going to get out. But we see him out and we see him at the front of the Avengers HQ. I assume that's what it is, the Avengers HQ, not sure where it could be. It might also just be some hideout Captain America has. Um, and I really didn't want to see that scene, to be honest. I didn't think it was that funny. Like, I love Paul Rudd, he's a great actor, he's one of my favorite comedian actors of this um, era, but I feel like I didn't need that. I feel like I would have rather loved to see um, something in the actual um, microverse thingy. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, it just came off as forced um, comedy for the most part. That's fine, 90% of the comedy is great in these movies, and I, I assume this is going to be one of the weaker scenes, although it'll still probably get a laugh out of most audiences in that. I know it seems like I've been hating on this trailer just because the last part I've been saying I didn't like, but I did love the reveal of Hawkeye, Ronan, Jeremy Renner. I love the character, I liked him from Avengers, and I liked him in the comic series as well. Um, the scene with Iron Man, which actually took up most of this trailer itself. And seeing Captain America actually broken, as I discussed in my Infinity War finale, setting up a finale video. He's broken now, he's not the Captain America we, we've known, and he's still that person. He's not sure what he's going to do if what they're doing fails. But, yeah, overall it's a pretty good trailer. Um, not much else to be said about it, but... I liked it. I'm. I don't like the title, but I'm more. I'm hyped for the movie. I'm gonna watch the movie twice in cinemas probably, no matter what. 
So give me more trailers, get me more hyped up for it. I always avoid TV spots though, because why would I watch full scenes of a movie weeks before the actual movie comes out? But the trailer is meant to get you hyped up, and this has me got excited. And to be honest, I know I was always gonna watch this movie in cinemas. So let me know what you thought about this trailer in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And check out my last video on screen now. I'll catch you guys next time.